My name is Honorable Rael Chebichilele. I come from Wasengishu. As, uh, I was born in a village called Cabenes and uh, I live in Eldoret. I am a leader in politics. I, I vied for a seat when I was young, some six years ago, and uh, I really enjoyed this, this journey because it is, a, it, is not, it is not a bad one. But uh, it, it, I, I am so inspired by other women leaders, and I, I got inspired again by other women who have been in politics, and they've done a lot of things, great things. Uh, the reason as to why I vote for this it is because I wanted to change the song of the Kalenjin woman, the song of a Kenyan girl, the song of an African girl, that you cannot only buy for a seat or a political seat when you have money. You can go without having money and you can be accepted by the community. I wanted the, to change the song of that girl from the village that it is possible for you to get out of your home, for you to get out of your area, for you to get out of your village and go to the people and ask them because there are a lot of problems that our people face. I know because I am, I am one of them, because I come from a humble background, whereby women, a uh, long time ago or some few years ago, were not allowed to vie for a seat or to be a leader in any political seat. But I'm glad because um, at the moment, women have been allowed to vie for even governorship. They were allowed to be, to be senators because we have one in our com in our society or in our com in our county where I come from, where we have this gov uh, this um, professor, uh, honourable honourable professor Kamar. She's um, she's a mentor to me. She's a mentor to many. She's a leader in politics. She's been a leader since, and she's that girl from the rift, whereby she 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 got out of her home and she dared to be a leader, and to date she's a great person. She's a great woman because I believe in her leadership. She's one of the powerful women in Kenya. She's been, uh, she, she's, a, she's, a, she's now the deputy speaker of the National Assembly, of the, uh, of the, of the Senate, sorry. Um, the reason as to why I vied again is because of what is happening in our society. I wanted, and I'm still, I'm still there. I'm passionate to work for the people of Wasengishu. I'm passionate to work for the people of Kenya. I'm passionate to speak on behalf of those people who can't speak for themselves. Call them the voiceless. I want to be the voice of the voiceless because I believe I have a voice. There are those people who cannot speak for themselves. There are those people who cannot even stand and and even say hi to the crowd. And because I'm here for them, I am ready to speak on their behalf. We have women who cannot even stand and they, they go through a lot of problems. There are those people back in our, in, our, in, our, in our up country whereby they go through a lot of tribulations. They go through a lot of issues, especially in their marriages. Some of our girls, believe me you today, I'm telling you, there are a lot to be done, especially in our schools. We have girls who cannot stand what they are going through. I've been going around uh, schools preaching the gospel of change. I believe and I'm, I'm an agent of change. We have these girls in schools, in high schools, I've been going with my team, we speak to them, we ask them the questions, what they, they, they are, I mean, their, their problems, their fears, and they are there telling you a lot of things that they go through. I'm telling you today, my listener, that if there is somebody who is going through a lot of issues, it's the girl child. Back in these schools, if you go there, let them write. Let them not speak to you. You will cry. 
I'm one of those women who have really shed tears because of the society. We do not have a generation. Our girls are going through a lot of issues. Our women, young women, my age mates, go through a lot of issues. It is only that we do not have somebody who is there, who can stand and listen to them. I want to talk to this woman who is listening to me. I want to talk to this girl who is listening to me. And I want to talk to that person who believes she is a mentor to give this girl a shoulder. This girl needs a shoulder, but unfortunately we do not have shoulders. I want to urge women who are seeing me and listening to me that if somebody comes to you, be your sister's keeper. Listen, kindly give a listening ear. These women who are in their ho homes, there are a lot of violence, there are a lot of uh, issues back in our homes, but we don't have friends. I've been there myself, I've given some ear, I've listened to them, I've given a shoulder for them to lean on and people are going through a lot of tribulations. I want to urge all of you who are listening to me today that if somebody comes to you, listen to that person, lest we will lose those people. I want to speak on behalf of women, young women, who go through a lot of, a lot of problems in their marriages. We have, uh, we have these leaders, upcoming leaders. I'm crying for the sake of our young police officers. I call them the women in uniform. I'm crying on behalf of these athletes. I call them our heroines, our legends. They go through a lot of tribulations. It is unless we get some leaders who can give them some shoulder to lean on. I am standing today here, it is because I want to be a champion. I want to stand high without any fear on behalf of them. I want to be their advocate. I will be their voice because they can't speak for themselves. We have those women who are, who are, who, who are, who are in parastatals, they are in institutions, civil servants. They need to be given some promotions. But they cannot be given promotions. It is because they need, they, they need to compromise. But I want to urge you women, I'm telling you this through experience. Never, never in capital letters, never compromise. You are a great woman. You have a future. There's somebody who is looking upon you. There is somebody who is singing about, about you every other day because they believe you are their role model. The reason as to why I'm standing here today is because I believe there are thousands of girls, there are thousands of mothers, there are thousands of women, those people who are older than me, who look upon me and they believe I'm their role model. I want to urge women this afternoon to be firm, to stand. Let there no be no. Let your yes be yes. Don't speak a yes for no. Please say no. Nobody will kill you. And even if you will be killed, be a legend. Die when you speak the truth until you, you go. I want to add, uh, okay, I want, I, want to, I want to speak to women again. I tell them today that we can. Women we can. We can form we can form a government. We can form a government. I want to repeat again, we can form a government. If all women today can hold their hands, become one, we will become a great nation. I want to urge women. I want to believe that women I want to believe that today my message will change you. A woman be Kindly be your sister's keeper. Don't speak negative about your sister. If there is something that you've seen that is not good about your sister, talk to them. God bless. God bless you. 
God bless Kenya. And I repeat, or I, I repeat by saying, yes, we can. Thank you.